Hi guys, Dodoink here from my Dodoinkian channel, and welcome to my Domination Ore Map. Today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the redstone and how it works and what makes this game possible to function, I guess. Alright, so we're going to do this in, in sections, hopefully. Try and talk about the redstone in little parts try not to jump back in between uh, in between topics you know try and make it as clean as I possibly can so when people start they will start here this is the spawn area marked out and my first mistake that I made when making the map is yes the map is over spawn point so when people join sometimes they join up there in the, in the redstone or on the map so that is the first flaw to this map, unfortunately. Well anyways, moving on. These pegs here, these legs, are the main the main function that that make the game possible in order to start the game. So these levers here, these signify whether the room is activated or or not. So if you only had, you know, four players, you would want to shut off two rooms or for four rooms and only have the four rooms open for the, the four total players. What this does here is when you turn the room off and the player isn't able to go in, it sends a redstone line up and it'll ready the room it readies the room as if there's a player up there because the game won't start until all the rooms are ready. So yeah, me being the only person here, this is the only room that is not has not been readied. So after this long, horrible long ladder walkway up, you come up here to this little little hallway to the spawn room. This is what the spawn room looks like. You are currently locked in. You can't go into the map until the game starts. And that happens as soon as everybody readies up. The ready up lever is right there. When you ready up, the lights turn on and voila. It now allows you to start the game. Now it is set up to where if you any player decides to turn the lever back off, it won't do anything. Now the the door here is on a time delay. Time delay, yada yada. About five seconds give or take. Look at that, get out of my way. And the time delay, how that works out, we have on this side we have the button on the other side of here it's inverted so when you hit the button it turns the torch off gets inverted again this torch will turn on for the button length send it along these repeaters around the room here into the floor where the door is at alrighty so that is the initial startup of the game everybody's are all these two rooms here when you ready up the lever is located on the diamond block and when you flick the lever it comes around here and it'll light the room up like this one here so the room is lit up the lever is on oh and we didn't well I guess it doesn't matter game already started but we'll flick this just to have it have them all on for video's sake so now both the rooms turn on it sends the signal down to this line here where they all meet up into these contraptions. Turns off the torches, turns them on. Once they all are activated, it sends the initial pulse to start the game. It also goes to the smart piston here, which lets you out of your room, which we already seen. So like I said, if you hit the hit the lever again, it takes away power, but it still stays on due to this memory cell here. So that's good. Alright, so once the game starts, this redstone will trigger on, and what will happen here is redstone will go to the through to the piston second, and it will go through here first. This is a pulse limiter, so it doesn't have a single super long continuous line of redstone going. So you activate it, it sends just a little pulse through, and then it will start the timer, turn the room on, Oh, 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 and we fail. Gotcha. Alright, so, 
and the same thing goes here smart piston just pushes it out the way so if redstone access happens again it does nothing alrighty so we'll go ahead and do that one more time and what happens here is it comes over here and it gets split there is repeaters before the initial timer and also it gets or not also but these uh, these timers or these uh, repeaters here they time or they give enough time for the room to actually turn on so those repeaters account for how many repeaters it takes for the signal to actually do every function it needs to do as the room turns on so when the signal splits here comes up here goes over here to this T flip flop T flip flop is a double powered T flip flop right now it's locking the room so if we come over here these are locked you can't you can't access the the three button presses to act activate your room <clears throat> and when it gets turned on here simulate turning it on by a button press it'll it does a few things it turns on both silver and golds these are the the memory cell units that that let you know which team is in control so it allows you to turn that on so now the buttons will work in the designated zones and it also goes to right here it also goes to do 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 the the lights around the the room to let you know which one to to, to capture there you go <coughs> so if this room was off these pistons would be down glowstone would be located in the floor and when it's turned on they get extended and it lets you know what room is turned on well you're like okay the room's turned on well what does that mean that means here that this that these pistons retract this reset line is now turned off so the pistons are now able to be to be you know move the blocks so let's replicate someone pressing a button what's going to happen is the, the cobblestone generator here will push the piston up into the perfect or the, the the cell slot activating the memory cell and once you get up to the third tier here, it it does the point counter and all that fun stuff. Alrighty, so room turns on, activates lights, turns on both players perspective button presses, and the timer goes, because we split the signal here. So the room will turn on, the timer will go, once the timer finishes going, it'll come back up here, go two ways, back up to the, the, the T-flip flop to turn it back off, and on its way to the next room. So, the room is currently on, let's come up here, up here to the map, to the room that is turned on here, we can see that the room is on based on the lights double piston extender in comparison to these rooms here where the lights are in the floor that's how you distinguish it on or off come over here you can press the button and this will notify how many button presses you have and once you get to your third button press it will activate your points and your points will start going up until the room either shuts off or the other player comes around and decides he wants to capture. Now note you could have two blocks pressed and it won't do anything for your silver side. Until you have all three will it activate the reset button for these. Turn on your silver and turn off the gold. And then after about a minute and 40 seconds, give or take, the room will come back down here. Oh, 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 lost. There we are. 
and the room will turn itself off. The reset line pushes all the blocks out and now the third tier is no longer counting points for anybody. The lights go back down and yeah, it goes on its merry little way to the next room. Alrighty, so that is pretty much how each individual room zone gets captured. Um, there's five of these, they're all mimicked the exact same way. Once they go, once they loop around once, they come in here to this contraption. This contraption lets the game loop around twice before ending itself. So we could replicate that here, this would be the first one. This already gave the initial pulse, it started and it goes on its way. And then when it comes back down this line, what it'll do is the, pit, the, the electricity will go into these repeaters, the pulse will go through the line, continue starting it over once again, the piston will then push it out the way to, to stop the pulse, and this is what happens at the end of the game. So when you signify the pulse going on here, it only goes through the first line, it doesn't even, doesn't even attempt going up through here. So now that you've restarted the game, or the loop I should say, because it loops around twice, each room opens up two times. And then once it comes back again, it's going to come around and it's going to go up top here to signify the stupid ding 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 all the way around the map and it's just going to keep going on its little loop until the map is exited. So that is how you know the game is over once all the lights are back down you hear that no one's counting points you're like well gold obviously won this and yeah these right here cmb minecraft tutorials look it up for yourself i copied it to the t so much credit goes to him amazing devices guy's a genius um other than that do -be -do -be -do. This, <coughs> or this cobblestone generator here, not mine, found this on YouTube. Um, the only thing that made it mine is turning it into memory cell devices that give out power once a certain block is in a certain hole. But yes, this design here. Not mine, I don't know the guy's name, can't give him credit, but pretty sure if you if you look up cobblestone generators, this guy will pop up rather, rather quickly. Um, other than that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my, my redstone walkthrough, hope that helped you out. Uh, understanding the physics of gameplay. And yeah, if you would like to try this out for yourself, download will be in the description below. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed what you've seen here, and yeah, be be on the lookout for for more maps on on my Dwarken channel. Thank you guys for watching.